let's look at the map. Because certainly the map should tell us something, right? Mm -hmm. If Mecca was there in the 6th and 7th century, then it should be on the maps from the 6th and 7th century. Am I correct? Yes. If Muhammad was born in 570, that's the 6th century, and died in 632, that's the 7th century, and moved from Mecca to Medina in 622, that's the beginning of the 7th century, then certainly someone somewhere should have known about it, and he sh this place should be in a map. Okay, well, let's look and see. This is a facsimile. This is not a real map. This is just a facsimile of the trade routes from the 7th century. Notice all those green lines, those are the trade routes. Notice where they don't go through, where the, the red question mark is. That's where Mecca is today. Why is it not on the trade route? Here's another one. This is a trade route, another facsimile. This is not a true map. This is just a facsimile of trade routes in the 7th century. Notice what's missing. Mecca is not there. Now let's look at some real maps. These are real maps. This one is from the 6th century. Notice what's missing? Mecca is missing. Here is a 7th century map. Look at what's missing. Where is Mecca? Not there. Where the red, where the red question mark is, is where Mecca is today. Why is it not on a... This is the time of Muhammad. This is the time that Muhammad should be living. So where's yeah. Mecca there? Here's another one. Here's a 7th century map. Still, Mecca is missing. Mecca is still missing. Another one. Completely different. One. These are all completely different. This is another 7th century. This is the time that Muhammad lived. This is the time you have Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, and Ali. You cannot find Mecca at all. Yet they're all, they should be, they have been living down there. Nothing. Nothing.